guys, it is Jen LaForge. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. If you're new around here, we talk about Disney, we talk about Disney Vacation Club, we talk about running, and I would love for you to stick around. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell notification. If you're a returning subscriber, you guys, I'm so glad that you're back, and I'm home from Disney. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out both the trailer and my first um, installment in my my vlogs from the trip because those are right up here. I had such an amazing time. Um, I went with my oldest son who, if you guys are wondering, you will not see in the videos. Uh, when we went, he suggested, not suggested, he requested that he not be on film and he is over 18 and I do like to honor my kids in that regard. So, um, I mean, it's not his fault that I'm this crazy YouTuber that has a blast sharing everything with all of you. So it might seem at times on my videos like I'm by myself. I am actually with my great son and we just, I couldn't have asked for a better trip. It was really amazing. But what I want to do today is show you guys what I bought. So this is officially a Disney haul and we're also going to do a giveaway. So you'll want to stick around until the end to find out how you can win. We want to give away something amazing for the 2000 subscriber mark, which we actually passed a little bit ago. I'm now almost at uh, 2600, which just I, you know, every, every day of this journey, I am more and more grateful, but I want to dive right in. I didn't do that much shopping. Um, I'm going to be doing videos about this trip over the next coming weeks. I've kind of settled into a publishing schedule where I'm publishing now on Tuesdays and Fridays. So Tuesdays will be kind of hauls, uh, reviews. I want to do one with a full dining review of the amazing places we ate on our trip. Uh, I want to talk about Toy Story Land. Uh, the, the hotels we stayed in because this was a split stay. So there'll be more about that coming up. And then Fridays, I'll be releasing new installments uh, about the trip itself. So if you're, if you're subscribed, but you don't have the bell notification turned on, make sure that you do that so that you don't miss uh, any of the great installments. So I'm going to start with the Toy Story Land merchandise. And um, some of this some of what I'm going to talk to you about is going to be part of the giveaway, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until the end. So the first thing that I picked up, uh, this is the Toy Story Land hat, which I uh, checked with the cast member. Disney Kitty had purchased this. I'll put a link to her vlog below, but I thought it was so darling. It is a youth size, but as long as you put it on one of the bigger settings, it fit me just fine. I'm not sure it would fit a guy, uh, but I have a pretty big head, so it will definitely fit a girl. And I just loved it. I thought it was so stinking cute. I don't know why they didn't make it in adult sizes, but I just thought I had to have that hat, so I picked that up. I also picked up several different pins on this trip. Um, we didn't do any pin trading, but I did purchase some pins, and a lot of them were Toy Story related. So I got um, one. This one is Alien, Alien Swirling Saucers. I picked up that pin thought that was really cute. And then also the Slinky Dog Dash pin. Just these kind of new, is that focusing in for you guys? Oh, there we go, the Slinky Dog Dash pin. And then this one I just thought was too adorable. It's actually um, Slinky Dog. Come on, focus. It's actually Slinky Dog himself. Let me see if I can get that. There we go, you can kind of see him there. He's not focusing great, but I think you guys can figure out what that is. There, that's a little bit better. Love me some Slinky Dog. So I got those three pins, and then I got, sorry, I'm just kind of going through my bags. This one I bought for my son. Um, he is a pin collector, and this is one of the limited edition Epcot pins that they did for the 35th anniversary. And inside this one is the, um, the Living Seas attraction is underneath. So I thought that one was really cool, and it is a limited edition. I'm not sure what, how many of these they made, uh, but I thought that was really cool, and I love the color on that, so we picked that up. So I also picked up a set of the Toy Story Land mystery pins. This has not been unboxed yet, but these are what they could potentially look like, and I know that everybody's going crazy for these, so I wanted to pick up one of those. And then this was another set of pins that we bought, and this is a Peter Pan and Wendy. 
And we're always looking for just kind of unusual pins. And I thought that was really cool because it's a, a pair. So I really like that one too. And if you guys watched my video where I talked about my favorite attractions, then you know that Peter Pan is one of my favorites. And so I'll put a link to that video up there. So this was a really special pin for us to buy as well. Um, I also picked up a little bit of Disney Vacation Club merch, not a lot. Um, really just, let's see, was there something else in there? This jacket was really the only thing that I picked up. So we found this at the uh, Polynesian. Their store is one of my favorite stores on Walt Disney World property. And they had some new Disney Vacation Club merch that I had not seen yet. And this is just a zip up hoodie, which I definitely did not need while we were there. But I live in Atlanta and it gets uh, really cold in the winter time here. Yes, I know those of you that live in really cold places just laughed at me, but I, I get cold in the winter. So I love hoodies like this. And it's got just Disney Vacation Club on the front there. And it's just a hoodie. I got a medium because I like my hoodies a little bit on the bigger side. And then on the back, if you guys can see, it's got Disney Vacation Club. And then in orange, it's got all of um, the different Disney Vacation Club properties. And then it's also got them down. Let me see if I can make this so you guys can see it better. It's also got that down the sleeve and it's got all of the, well, I guess that doesn't really have the Disney Vacation Club properties. It just has some pictures of boats and waves and cool things. And that's just on the one sleeve. The other thing I loved about this jacket was that it has um, thumb holes. So this will be really comfortable for walking the dog in the fall and in the winter. And this was $49.99. So a little on the expensive side for a hoodie, but the weight is really perfect. And I thought it was really, really good quality. So I picked that up as well. And then what else did I get? Oh, this, you guys. Okay, so the Contemporary is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite hotels. It always has been. We stayed there on our very first Disney trip with the boys when they were really little, and we just have always loved the Contemporary. So they had a whole new line of Contemporary themed things. And this hat is like a Mickey Mouse, Mary Blair mashup. So it's got Mickey Mouse with this little bunny is actually on uh, the wall. And I, I took a picture, I'll put it right in here. I took a picture of myself next to where that bunny is with this hat on. And then on the back, it says the Contemporary Resort. Let's see if I can get that to focus. It says the Contemporary Resort. And then over on this side, you have the little five-legged goat. And Mary Blair was famous for saying she would always put a mistake somewhere in her work just to remind us all that nothing is perfect. So uh, this hat, I loved. I actually, I think it was $24.95. I've taken the tag off because I actually wore it while we were there. But love, 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 love this hat. So another thing I picked up at a resort was I went to uh, Basin White, which is at the Grand Floridian. Um, Basin has two locations in Disney. One is in Disney Springs and one is at the Grand Floridian. These, I'm a bath person uh, and these bath bombs are my absolute favorite. And I always buy them when we go to Disney because I can use my 20% off pass holder discount. And a little tip on that, if you use the Shop Disney Parks app, you can also get the 20% off, but usually then I have to pay shipping. So I picked up one of these. It's where you go around and you just can load it up yourself on all the different um, bath bombs. And I'll pull one out so you can see. I have a big soaking tub and these big, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell that. That is just, oh, it's making my whole office smell good. I got the Basin White, which is my favorite. And then I got, this one is a lavender. And I don't remember what Let's pull out that one because I don't remember what scent this one is. I want to say this one was like, oh, it's like a plumeria. It smells so good, you guys. I'm sorry. It's really not fair that I'm doing that in front of you. Um, I put these in my checked bag and they did okay. Um, the top came off and a little bit of the, of the powder came off, but I was kind of worried about them in my checked bag, but they actually did okay. And if you use your discount, there are six bath bombs in here and it was $17.99 with my 20% off pass holder discount. So actually I thought that was a really, really good price. So I was excited about that. And then these last couple things that I picked up, this one is, I just saw this slinky dog 
uh, magic band and I just had to have it. Look how adorable that is. So you've got Slinky Dog there and then I don't know if you can see it says Toy Story right there on the bottom. So I love the custom magic bands. Of course we always get them when we stay at our resort but I always think that these are so stinking adorable and to commemorate Toy Story Land I thought that was really really fun. And then I picked up because I always love picking up clean copies of all of the park maps. So I have the park maps for all all four parks um, with Incredible Summer on one and then um, the Slinky Dog. So I bet you're wondering, what the heck is she gonna give away? So first of all, can we talk about my restraint? Because that was literally all I bought. I did not go crazy. I bought a couple of Epcot shirts that my boys have already been wearing and an Epcot um, or in a Mickey Mouse hat for one of my boys that again, he's already taken it and wearing it. So I think that's a good thing. Um, but I am giving some of these things away. So um, the first thing that's gonna be part of this giveaway, I'm super excited about, is actually a gift. And it is from Missy at the Wait world. If you are not already following the Waits world, you need to make sure that you subscribe to their channel. Great family, great content. Um, they do Disney vlogs. They're also just starting to do a weekly vlog, which I think is going to be super fun just about their day-to-day -day life. But Missy also has an adorable uh, shirt shop, and I will definitely put the link to that in the show notes, but she is giving us a shirt to give to one of you. So I'm gonna put a picture right here of the new Toy Story Land uh, shirt that they came out with. This design just could not be any cuter. But she has lots of great designs on her sh uh, shirt shop. So what will happen is whoever the winner is, Missy will contact you directly and then you can just send her your size and what uh, type of shirt you want and she will get that out to you. So the number one prize in our giveaway is gonna be the great t-shirt from the Weights World. The other thing that's going in the giveaway is the Toy Story Land hat. Love this. And I really, this happens to me every time I do a giveaway. I really should have bought two. Oh, I just remembered something I didn't tell you guys that was in my haul. I'll do it at the very end because it's actually my favorite thing that I purchased. So this hat will go in the giveaway, the shirt from the Waits World. Whoever wins will get the four, as clean as I could keep them, uh, park maps with all of the new attractions on them. Whoever wins the giveaway will also win, all of this is going to one winner, the Toy Story Magic Band. Toy Story Custom Magic Band is going to our winner for the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. And also, and I hope you guys were guessing that this was part of the giveaway, this uh, pack of the Toy Story Land Mystery Pins is gonna go in the giveaway as well. So my winner will be winning the Toy Story hat, the Toy Story Mystery Pins, the Park Maps, and the Toy Story Magic Band, and the uh, shirt from The Waits World. So it is gonna be a fabulous, fabulous prize. So here's what I want you to do in order to enter. I had not done yet like a traditional Q&A, and I wanna record one here coming up probably in the next two or three weeks. So if you would please comment uh, what you would like me to answer, any questions that you would like me to answer, in a Q&A video. It can be about Disney, it can be about Disney Vacation Club, it can be about running, it can be about my life personally, anything that you guys wanna ask. Um, and that is how you can be entered to win. I'll be picking one winner for all the prizes. Uh, you must also be subscribed. So if your name is drawn, uh, normally what I do is I do random number generator and then I take the number of entries and pick a number. But if I draw your name and you're not a subscriber, then you won't be qualified to win. So make sure you subscribe and then call comment um, any questions that you want to ask me. If you don't have a question, that's okay. The reality is I'm going to, as long as you comment something, I'm going to put you in the giveaway. But I would love to hear your questions and anything that I can answer for you. I've got a lot of great videos coming up. I've got, uh, I spent some time with the um, the Neverland family while we were there. I ran into uh, Sarah and Peter from the Brookhart Project. So they'll be in a video coming up. So it was just such a great trip, you guys. I can't even tell you. And as I told y'all before that I wanted to buy my very first like official Alex and Ani. I, ironically, the first one that I bought, I used for a giveaway, but this was the Alex, you know, I should probably take it off my wrist because it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see. You don't need to see my hands anyway, but let me show you. Hold on little Alex and Ani bracelet. Okay. This is the one I ended up getting and I bought it at the Magic Kingdom and it says a dream is a wish your heart makes from Cinderella. 
and it just is right there in blue. Isn't that just so precious? And then of course it has the little, the little Mickey Mouse on it. I am hoping, whoops, come on Mickey. I am hoping that this will be my first of many Alex and Ani bracelets. I, I didn't, you know, I could have bought two or three, but I was like, it's really one of those things that I want to collect. I want to buy kind of one every time I go, and then eventually I will have a bunch, but it will be because they all meant something, and I bought them all um, when I was on a trip to Disney. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope that you will comment and enter to win. Uh, let's see, today, uh, well, today is Monday. I'm going to put this video up on Tuesday, which I believe is the 25th of July. So let's run this until um, August the 5th and we'll close it out. I'll put all the rules in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe because that is going to be important for you to enter to win and I just hope one of you wins. Well, that's silly. One of you is going to win. And please make sure you check out the trip video um, on Friday. And thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.